In this video tutorial, I will explain how you can use this micrometer computer model to measure the thickness of a diameter of an object. So in this case, most micrometer would have a precision of 0.01 mm. Using the slider bar, or the tear color left button, you can actually close the jaws. So ensure that the horizontal line on the sleeve and the zero mark of the timber align to form a straight line. So that means that will be the reading. To make a measurement, to open the spindle, you can use the blue slider bar. And to change the size of the object, you can use the two black sliders. Okay, or you can alternatively click on it and drag it down. So to close the spindle, you can use a green slider bar. And you can lock the micrometer to prevent it from further changing. So if the markings are too small, you can use this zoom function, which is created in the computer model. So the answer is actually 3.50 mm on the main scale. So to find the answer, you look at the 0.24 mm mark. So adding the two numbers together, you will find that the answer is 3.50 plus 0.24 to give you the final answer and you can put in the final answers into the input box to check your answer and the check boxes are there for you to help you to find out these various hints and answers click on the reset button to take a new measurement so for example in some cases there could be a zero error in the micrometer due to some instrumentation errors or overused so now you can actually create a fictitious zero error so let's say you're interested in exploring a zero error so just change it to let's say for example 0.06 mm you will find that the micrometer would have a reading of 0.06 mm even when the jaws are perfectly close so carry out the usual measurement and you will find that the new reading in this case would be 5.03 mm now bear in mind there's a zero error initially so you need to subtract the zero error to 4.97 mm